Hello everyone. So today we will see how to add HTTPS to our website, WordPress website to be specific. So this is a basic WordPress website that I have set up for this tutorial. Uh, as you can see, it is not secured currently, as there is an exclamation mark right here, and we can see the page is not secure over here also. So. Let's see how to make this website secure. So, uh, we will use Cloudflare for provide, uh, for using the flexible SSL and uh, getting a lock mark right here. Let's start. First, let's copy the URL of our website and go into Cloudflare and let's add it to our websites. So, for this, you need to log into your Cloudflare account and there is an option here for add site so let's paste our domain name here and see what cloudflare does okay so let's remove this now the cloudflare is scanning our domain Okay, so as you can see it has completed the scanning and it shows continue setup so let's continue it and um, here it shows different records record types that can and cannot be managed by Cloudflare as you can see the study material.pk shows that it will be served by a uh, the sign means it will be served by a Cloudflare and the www c name will also be served via cloudflare so these are the two things that we require and it looks perfectly fine so let's continue um, since this video shows how to get it for free we will choose the free website plan and click continue So now this is the main part we have to change our name servers at our domain so uh, now it shows the new name server details that we need to input at our domain configuration portal let's do this now, here is our domain configuration portal for this demonstration video I have registered a free domain name from free norm and the domain name is study material.tk so this is the configuration page and let's see name servers so these are the name servers that I have configured currently let's update them with the new ones let's copy it from here and paste it over here and let's do the same for the second one and it says remove these name servers so let's remove these last doors so um, Let's change the name servers. Change. So now the um, changing of the name servers actually take something around one hour to twenty-four hours. So let's wait for some time. Um, then we can continue. Now at this time it shows the status is pending. It says allow 24 hours for the change to proceed. So let's wait for some time and then we will check 
for the name service. So let's check for the name servers whether they have been updated or not by clicking here recheck name servers. So yes the setup has been completed uh, partially so let's continue. Now as you can see the domain is correctly added. So let's continue with the next step. Now here we can see that the SSL is full. Now let's go to the SSL and uh, click con uh, change it to flexible and scroll to the end. Now there is a button which says automatic HTTPS rewrites. So what it does is whenever there is an HTTP request it automatically responses with a HTTPS. So it does not allow uh, allows mixed content warning and that kind of stuff. So let's switch it on and uh, this will fix many errors in your website actually many potential errors which might come like uh, when your favorite like icon for the website is not over the secure domain name so it will fix that let us add our plugin that we need to add them to the wordpress to make it work correctly let's log in to the wordpress and uh, Okay, so we are in the admin. Now in the plugin section, let us add a new plugin. Uh, it is called Cloudflare Flexible SSL. So as you can see, we already have searched it already. So this is the WordPress plugin that we are going to install. And as you can see it is already 20,000 plus active users and it was updated three weeks ago. So let's try this install now. Okay, so let's activate it. Okay, so the WordPress plugin is activated successfully. We do not have to do any changes here, and it's all done. Let's get out of our WordPress. Okay, so let's check back after. Let's check once again if the domain is able to load over HTTPS as usually takes some time. So the certificate installation took a bit longer than I expected but here we are. So to verify that the certificate is successfully installed, uh, first we will try to open the website without the HTTPS. So let's open it again. In the new browser, I will just paste the website name without the H S without HTTPS. So it is just S HTTP. So let's open this, and uh, as you can see, the whole website is running just fine without HTTP. And if we open the sample post, it is also without HTTP. Now to test the HTTPS, just replace here. HTTP with HTTPS. So let's type it S and like this. So as you can see, HTTPS is working fine, and there is a secure notification here also. So this shows that the certificate is successfully installed, and this was the website before without the HTTPS. And this is with HTTPS. Okay, so it's loaded. 
and if we open a post it is also working fine the HTTPS is here and the lock symbol so now HTTPS and HTTP both are working fine we just need to redirect the users to our HTTPS website when they open an unsecure uh, URL so to do that, uh, do that we will use Cloudflare and we will not change any settings with us so here I'll want to mention something that you shouldn't do but let's keep it for the end and let's go to Cloudflare so here in the Cloudflare panel let's go to page rules section here by clicking on it and when you move down here you will see this create page rules now clicking on it you will see a box which will ask you to enter a pattern we will enter a pattern that I have already made so this says HTTP column uh, forward slash star study material dot tk forward slash star so any this kind if this kind of URL is requested so what should we do we should always use HTTPS from this box this will enforce HTTPS for this URL we just need to save and deploy and uh, this should do the task now uh, you should replace study material dot tk with your own domain to make this work for your website and let's check it here study material dot tk was open without https so if we refresh this this should redirect to the secure version of the website so let's try this and uh, as you can see it itself redirected to the https website so if we even try to copy this and open it without https just this it automatically opens the secure version of the website as you can see here with the lock and the secure world which google just started showing now let's talk about something that you should not do while configuring https on your website it plays a crucial role to not adjust that setting while setting up https so i actually wasted my lot of my time uh, because I did change that so I recommend you not to touch that setting so first log in to your WordPress um, so as you can see inside here in settings and general I request you not to change these URLs the WordPress address and the site address do not attempt to change uh, these two um, HTTPS as this will apply a redirect loop to your website and you won't be able to log in to your um, WP admin so please do not touch these the WordPress website is just working fine and Cloudflare will take care of all the rest